Are you going to Japan? Are you thinking about whether you should be exchanging yen in your local country first before you go, or after you arrive in Japan? This video explains why you should get yen in Japan, where, and how to exchange yen in Japan. The best way to get yen in Japan is to use your debit card to withdraw yen from ATMs for the following reasons. ATM give you one of the best exchange rates. It typically uses the Visa or Mastercard networks exchange rate. Typically, the foreign exchange rate has no markup. The exchange rate is very similar to what you see on XC.com. Sometimes it even beats the rate on XC.com. Now that depends on which ATM you use, and we'll get to it in this video. In a local bank like Bank of America in USA, they typically charge you 5%. ATM that lets you use foreign debit cards are so convenient in Japan that they're everywhere in Tokyo, for example. Let's talk about which ATM you could use or should use. There are many ATM that you can use to withdraw Japanese yen in Japan with your foreign debit card. The two most convenient ATMs are 7-Eleven and Family Mart. One of my favorite is the 7 Bank ATM machines. In this video, we'll focus just on 7 Bank ATM. They can be found in almost every single 7 Eleven convenience source, inside some of the Tokyo metro stations, or even inside some of the department stores. For this example, I went to a 7 Eleven store to withdraw yen using my US debit card. At the front of this 7 Eleven, it has a sign that says Bank ATM. For every 7-Eleven ATM that I went to so far, they all have English menu. The ATM inside 7-Eleven that I went to looks like this. It has a sign that says ATM Plus, and I don't know what that means. The ATM inside a department store looks like this. They look slightly different, but they all say 7-Bank ATM. Now, let's look at how to tell if your debit card it's going to work with 7-Eleven ATM. First of all, it has a sign on top that tells you international cards plus a bunch of network logo. If the back of your foreign debit card has one of this network logo, you are good to go. For example, it shows Visa, which is the most popular debit card network for US debit card. So if you have a US debit card, you are covered. The plus logo is mostly for Canadian debit cards. For example, if you have a Canadian TD Bank debit card, you'll find the plus logo at the back of your debit card. MasterCard, similar to Visa Network. Service logo, some Canadian debit card use the service network. Union Pay, works with most debit cards from China or Hong Kong. Then there's Amex, similar to Visa. JCB, Japanese network, I would think. Finally, there's Discover and Diners Club. Now let's talk about how to use a 7-Bank ATM. After inserting your foreign debit card, you will see the screen. It tells you that if you withdraw 10,000 yen, this ATM charges you a transaction fee of 110 yen. If you withdraw 20,000 yen, this ATM charges you a transaction fee of 220 yen. I thought if I withdraw more, for example 30,000 yen, it charges me 330 yen. But no, I tried. Anything above 20,000 yen, they charge you only 220 yen. 220 yen with the current exchange rate to US is roughly $1.70. So it is a pretty good deal. It's not a lot of money to for foreign exchange. After you confirm, select either credit saving or checking. If you are using a debit card, you should not be selecting credit. You should select either checking or saving. Next step, enter your PIN number. Next screen, it asks you how much you want to withdraw. For my example, I withdrew 50,000 yen and then again, I click Confirm in the next page. This is the most important screen, and you should pay a lot of attention to it in order to get the best exchange rate. First line, cash withdrawal, 50,000 yen, makes sense. Second line, ATM transaction fee, makes sense. Remember I said any withdrawal higher than 20,000 yen, same 220 yen fee. 
and that is what it shows here. Third line, total fifty thousand plus two twenty yen. That also makes sense. Now this part is exchange rate, and that gets a little bit confusing. The first time I saw this, I was like, "What the?" So I have a U.S. Charles Schwab debit card that charges no foreign transaction fee and uses the Visa network exchange rate. So why did it tell me 3.5% conversion fee? To be 100% certain, I use the lowest exchange rate and I don't get overcharged. I call my bank to confirm. So here's how it works: the 3.5% applies only if you select the USD amount, meaning the 389.56 at the bottom. Right corner, which does not use the Visa network for an exchange rate, and will select the crappy 3.5 percent conversion fee with the bad exchange rate. So please don't select that button. That shows you USD or whatever your home currency is. If you select the 50,220 yen, it still charges you only 220 yen for transaction fee, but Your network rate uses the Visa's network rate, which is much better. And there is no 3.5 percent conversion fee, so my friend always selects the button in yen. In addition, for those of you who also bank with a bank that reimburses you the ATM transaction fee charged by the machine, for example, Charles Schwab did give me back 220 yen, but in USD. And that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and big thanks for doing your homework before you go. You did an amazing job. You just saved yourself three to five percent conversion fee, and got a really good exchange rate for your entire Japan trip. Enjoy your trip in Japan. I wish you all the best. If you find this video useful, hit the like and subscribe buttons to say thank you very much or aligato gozaimas.